Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we wanted to talk about the medicinal mushrooms, Cordyceps sinensis, and Jew. In Eastern medicine, these medicinal mushrooms are used to improve the vital force, your life energy, your recuperative powers, your healing powers. You know, the uh, oriental way of approaching medicine seems foreign to us. But if we can understand it a little better, there's much to be learned and much we can benefit from. And one of the biggest, most helpful agents among that approach to medicine are the medicinal mushrooms. So that's what we want to talk about today. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Grapeseed extract may improve outcomes in colon cancer. New research reported in PLUS One finds the addition of grapeseed extract greatly improves response to chemotherapy while it reduces the inflammation in normal colon cells. The researchers tested grapeseed extract's ability to kill colon cancer cells in laboratory studies. They found grapeseed extract increased growth inhibitory effects of chemotherapy on colon cancer cells by 26%. They also found it reduced evidence of inflammation by 55%. Related research reported in oncology reports finds vitamin C may help improve the response to radiation therapy for cancer. They found adding vitamin C to leukemia cell cultures greatly improved the ability of radiation to induce cancer cell death. The study's author states the findings suggest that vitamin C does not reduce the efficacy of radiotherapy, but actually helps to x-rays to kill cancer cells. Folks, the debate on antioxidant use in cancer patients who are receiving radiation or chemotherapy began about 10 years ago when a medical journal printed an editorial, not scientific evidence, but an editorial that expressed concern that antioxidant use during cancer therapy could make cancer therapies less effective. Now, please understand, there was no hard data provided, just a suspicion. You see, both chemotherapy and radiation therapy creates free radical stress in the cancer cells that ultimately leads to cancer cell death. Now, on the surface, it may appear that the editorial was correct, but what was missing is the admission that cancer cells are not normal cells, and they do not react to antioxidants like grapeseed extract or vitamin C in the same way as our normal cells do. Since that original editorial was published, oncologists around the world have been telling their patients to not use antioxidants while in cancer therapy. And they do this with no hard evidence whatsoever. Since that time, the alternative medical world has been working feverishly to disprove that misguided concern. And these two studies are among hundreds now that support the notion antioxidant use during cancer therapy provides true benefits. To date, we know that a wide variety of antioxidants can help you win your battle with cancer. These agents include vitamin C, vitamin D, grapeseed extract and resveratrol, curcumin, pterostilbin, the carotenoids, and many others, including plant extracts that contain polyphenol antioxidants. Improving aerobic fitness may reduce hospitalization rates for those with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. New research reported in Respirology and conducted in Spain evaluated over 540 COPD patients and their exercise habits. They found those who walked about one and one half miles a day or more were significantly less likely to be admitted to the hospital with severe respiratory symptoms. The study's authors report that this study is just one of many studies that have confirmed improving aerobic fitness improves the health and overall quality of life in COPD patients. Folks, this one's critically important for all of you who have been diagnosed with emphysema, asthma, bronchiectasis, or COPD. Improving your exercise tolerance provides true health benefits. Now, I know those of you who have one of these conditions are saying right now, but Dr. Becker, you don't understand how hard it is to exercise when your lungs are diseased. How in the world can I walk a mile or two when walking across the room leaves me short of breath? Well, I do understand the immense challenges lung disease presents, but you must understand that we cannot yet replace diseased lung tissue with healthy tissue. Plus, the ability to do that, aside from lung transplant, is still many years away. So in the meantime, putting one foot in front of the other will slowly but surely improve your aerobic fitness and your overall state of health. I strongly advise you to start a walking program, even if it means carrying a bottle of oxygen to supplement your breathing. We have also learned in recent years that several dietary supplements can help you achieve your exercise goals. They include CoQ10, vitamin D, 
the B vitamins in general, astragalus, fish oil, probiotics, curcumin, and plant-based antioxidants in general, such as what's found in goji and mangosteen juice, along with a healthy diet complete with fruits and vegetables. Bottom line on exercise and COPD, improving your aerobic fitness by just 10% improves your quality of life, and that's absolutely worth the effort. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the medicinal mushrooms and cordyceps sinensis and your health. We'll be right back. Stay with us. May Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the auto ship program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you want to maintain your mental clarity? With people living longer, we need more research into the ways to lower the risk of dementia. Studies are showing us that people who regularly read books, complete puzzles, or solve word games like the Sunday crossword puzzle maintain their mental abilities longer than people who don't. We also preserve memory by maintaining social activities, such as volunteering, attending religious services, or regularly talking with friends and neighbors. And diet plays a big role as well. It's important to eat a nutritious diet, free from heavy metals and chemical pollutants, and full of vitamins and the essential fatty acids which power the brain. These simple and important steps will help keep you mentally healthy for many years to come. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include mayatake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with Mayataki, Shiitake, Rishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the auto ship program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you today. Well, we have a great show planned today. We're going to be talking about medicinal mushrooms. These are just amazing. The thing that I like about the medicinal mushrooms is they're safe and easy to take, and they have such a widespread application to our health. Yes, Richard, when I learned about the mushrooms, you know, the first thing that I learned was the energy. But yeah. then as we got into more and more and I saw inflammation and I saw helping with the cancer patients. And so cholesterol many, and oh blood my sugar goodness, control. It goes on and on. Very They're diverse just benefits. Amazing. They, they are. They are truly amazing. A very powerful tool that you should have in your medicine cabinet. There are estimated some 700 different mushrooms that humans use as food and about 35 of these 700 have medicinal properties. Combining medicinal mushrooms makes them even more powerful as each mushroom makes its own unique glucan. Now what's a glucan? You know glucose, it's a six carbon sugar. And in a glucan, it's a long chain of glucoses hooked together in unique ways. 
One, uh, one link could be from the top, one can be from the bottom, one could be from the first carbon in the sixth glucose, it could be in the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. So there's a wide variety of beta-glucans available and combining medicinal mushrooms gives you that variety for a good, positive, evenly distributed health benefit. Eastern medicine uses medicinal mushrooms to balance the system and to improve life force energy. Now, what, what do you mean by this life force energy? I'm imagining a patient who's just had a operation and maybe they're in a terrible car wreck and they're all busted up, right? Their life force energy is extremely low. They're on the brink of disaster here. They need something to help boost their ability to heal. And that's how I think of medicinal mushrooms. It improves your ability to heal and overcome obstacles, okay? Now, what mushrooms do we like to use and why? Let's look at these as in a combined sense. First is the maitake. I think everyone's heard of that word maitake. Graffola frondosa is the scientific name. The Japanese name for maitake literally means dancing mushroom because whoever found it danced for joy because they were worth their weight in silver back in ancient times. Putative or cultural uses, hypertension, glucose control for the diabetic, lowering your lipids, your cholesterol, and improved immunity. They grow in a cluster size, about the size of a volleyball. They were once very rare, but now they're commercially prepared, and that has made it affordable for most all to use. The active ingredients in maitake include these beta-glucans, but it has a variety. One is called fraction D. Another is MD, another Gryphon D. So there's a wide variety of beta-glucans even in the maitake. The next medicinal mushroom is shiitake, Lentinula idotis. Shita means chestnut tree and take means mushroom. So it's the mushroom that grows at the base of the chestnut tree. Putative or cultural uses to help with lipids and atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, cardiovascular disease, and to use as a boost to the immune system to fight infections. Shiitake is, is used in oral medicine, of course, to boost that vital life energy, to give you better resistance to infection, to help you heal from trauma, and to improve your healing force. It contains all the essential amino acids, quite a few vitamins and minerals and vitamin D, one of the rare vegetarian sources of vitamin D, that is shiitake. Shiitake is the original source of letanin, which is the third most widely prescribed chemotherapy agent in the world. It comes from shiitake, it's in shiitake, it's extracted, purified, and put in an intravenous substance to be administered as a drug. It's not available in the United States, but in Japan it is, a, it is an official approved drug. Our next one on our list after maitake and shiitake is the reishi, reishi mushroom, Ganoderma lucidium. That's the scientific name. It has a shiny skin, and that's what that word, those words mean, Ganoderma lucidium, a shiny skin. Once was very rare. It's not really used as a food because it has a bitter taste. I, I mentioned how rare it is. It, is, it was said to grow in only one of 10,000 maple trees. So you've got a long walk ahead of you if you're looking for wild growth reishi in the forest, okay? But now it's cultivated, making it more affordable and accessible for whoever may need it. The reishi mushroom is known as the mushroom of immortality. In ancient China, only the emperors could consume reishi. reishi. If you were a peasant and you were found to have this reishi, you could be put to death. It's recorded in their history books. Isn't that something? What men will do to maintain power. You know, a very powerful mushroom, if anybody could have that, maybe that emperor is not so special after all. You know, to we Americans who have lived in freedom all our lives, it's, it's almost impossible to think in those terms, but that's how the world is. That's how it was in those days. Anyway, mushroom of immortality, only the emperors could consume the reishi. Now it's uh, cultured, uh, grown in various ways, and it is considered in the oral medicine the ultimate herbal substance, reishi. Putative use or cultural use, vital energy to help with memory, to help with asthma and allergies, arthritis, bronchitis, insomnia and stress. One of the, uh, aside from the beta-glucan content of the reishi, reishi contains triterpenoids. It's, it's in that family of 
turpentine. You've heard that? That's an old time remedy, turpentine. You used to take a nip of turpentine. Well, the triterpenoids is a derivative of turpentine. It's similar chemically. And these bitter substances give it that taste, so that's why it's not used uh, as a culinary mushroom so much. But it's also what gives it its anti-inflammatory action, anti-tumor and antiviral effects. It increases, modulates cytokines. Okay, these are cell signaling molecules that tell the nucleus of the cell to do certain things in response to injury, to stress, to infection. So it improves cell signaling. That's what the triterpenoids do. Our final one on the list of medicinal mushrooms uh, in this group is the Agaricus blazi murel or ABM. Uh, we have a new classification of that. Scientists want to distinguish it from others, so they've renamed it Agaricus subprofessens. That's a new dedication. You may be able to look it up under that name. I'm going to just say ABM. It's easier to say. Please forgive me, but, you know, <clears throat> it's a lot easier on me to say ABM. Cogumela de Vida. In Brazil, it's called the mushroom of life. And it is the closest thing of the medicinal mushrooms to that white button mushroom that we may slice up and put on our pizza or make mushroom soup out of it. It looks just like the white button mushroom. It is approved as a cancer drug in both Brazil and Japan. Here it's over the counter. Anybody can have it. At least 15 studies confirm ABMs used for the four basic types of cancer, carcinoma, sarcoma, lymphoma, and leukemia. Uh, discovered in 1945 by renowned mycologist William Morell. That's why they originally named it after Agaricus blasii Morell. Okay. And Dr. Halprin, who wrote Healing Mushrooms, writes of ABM, it is more potent than any other mushroom. Okay. ABM beta glucans are more absorbable than from any other mushroom, making them very effective against tumor cells. That's in Healing Mushrooms. Halprin, MD, PhD. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Now, let's go to our break a little early, and we can come back and talk about cancer support. What do these medicinal mushrooms do for us? That's when we return. time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you remember the questions you wanted to ask your doctor after you've left the doctor's office? That's happened to me, so here's my strategy to get ready for a doctor visit. If it's a first-time appointment, be sure your medical records arrive ahead of you. The doctor can review your history quickly. This leaves more time for discussion. For every visit, write down your questions at home. Include a list of medications you take. When you arrive, fill out the medical history forms concisely and accurately. Attach a copy of your questions with the forms so the doctor is aware of your questions before he or she steps into the exam room. Bring your friend for support and have a notepad to take notes. Before you leave, have all your prescriptions. And here's hoping you don't go to the doctor very often. With your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. 
Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back discussing the medicinal mushrooms and their amazing properties. So, Richard, that was really a great coverage of what the mushrooms are. Yeah. But now let's talk about who do they support? Yeah. Well, we've introduced maitake, shiitake, reishi, and the ABM mus- uh, uh, mushrooms. Now let's talk about cancer support. I think perhaps most people who use the medicinal mushrooms are attracted to them when they're in cancer therapy or recovering, trying to prevent reoccurrence of cancer in that that general category. Some of modern medicine's top cancer drugs come from medicinal mushrooms. First is letanin. Now letanin is the third most commonly prescribed chemotherapy agent worldwide. It's not available in the United States. And what letanin is, it's a a beta-glucan substance and uh, it triggers the production of T cells and natural killer cells, but it's not approved by the FDA. This is an IV treatment. It's extracted and injected directly into the veins, okay? That comes from shiitake. Shiitake also is the source of active hexose correlated compounds. This is an alpha glucan. That means one of the bonds is different, alpha and beta. So it's the alpha version of the uh, connection between the glucose molecules. Alpha-glucan is used as the number two complementary cancer and immune support agent in Japan. At least 12 studies have confirmed its effectiveness. Human studies show cancer patients have longer survival, better quality of life, and lower reoccurrence rates in the face of cancer when they use active hexose correlated compound. That is orally administered, okay? Rishi contains ganoderic acids. And this one is very important because it can be used against hormone-driven cancers. And what are those? Breast cancer, 85% of those are hormone-driven cancers. Ovarian cancer, the vast majority of those are hormone-driven. Uterine cancers, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Ganoderic acid has the basic structure that resembles cholesterol, as do all the sex hormones, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen. And it gets into this process of uh, it occupies the receptors and blocks the effect of the hormone drive on these tumors. So ganoderic acid can be found in reishi. This is well known. It uh, suppresses metastasis. It suppresses angiogenesis. What is that? As tumors grow, it needs a, they need a blood supply. That means they have to support the growth of an artery and veins out of the tumor. Well, ganoderic acid inhibits that process. And so, in effect, the tumor withers on the vine. Make sense? Okay? Ganoderic acid is capable of doing that. In addition to tumor suppressing beta glucans, ABM contains agaritin. This is an anti tumor compound, it's, it's uh, being used and it inhibits proliferation of leukemia. And ABM is an approved cancer treatment in Brazil and Japan, and that's one of the reasons why is this substance, agaritin, okay? These medicinal mushrooms have been linked with improvements in cancers of the bladder, breast, colon, connective tissues, lungs, nervous system, ovaries, prostate, and skin, including melanomas, as well as leukemias, lymphomas, and multiple myeloma. They are used as complementary support for chemo and radiation to improve treatment outcomes, okay, and decrease side effects of cancer treatment. In cancer patients, medicinal mushrooms improve immunity, reduce infections, decrease complications, and side effects while they prolong life, improve quality of life, and reduce the risk of reoccurrence. Now, we could stop right there, and these four agents would be outstanding, powerful agents that we should uh, know about and use. But there's more. There's much more to the medicinal mushrooms. Immunity and inflammation. They can rev up or calm down the immune system. This is called modulation. And I, and I would like to ha- help you have a mental image of what I mean by modulation. Let's say my enzyme system 
can, the activity of the enzyme system can be represented much like a tachometer in your car or a speedometer. So my enzymes go from this range to this. It's like your RPMs, vroom, vroom. That's normal, okay? So let's say you're chronically suppressed so you can't get your RPMs up. The medicinal mushrooms will help you reach your power band in your engine, okay? But what if I go too far and exceed that red line limit? Drugs can do this. Drugs can go all the way over. Oh, oh, you're going to have troubles. I'm going to strain something. Oh, drug side effect way over here. On the other hand, drugs that suppress immune function can push it all the way down this way. Oh, now I'm getting sore over here. Now that's hurting. The important thing to understand is drugs overcompensate and that can be useful. That can save lives, but that's also what leads to side effects and complications from drug therapies. The natural agents maintain that normal range of enzyme function or you stay within the limits of your engine. And that's why we don't get pr profound side effects in these natural agents. So they can rev up or calm down the immune system depending on how you need it to adjust. And I don't know how that works. I don't know the secret to that, but that's how it is. Some things we just have to accept as they are without understanding exactly why. They can activate the immune system. They can increase the response and production of the immune system to optimal levels. Increases the response to both gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, including staph and strep. But it promotes probiotic growth. That's another thing I don't understand how it works, but this has been observed over and over. The medicinal mushrooms can kill the pathogens, but they promote the growth of lactobacillus, bifidobacterium. You know, the good guys, the probiotics. Isn't that amazing what God has done for us? How he figures all this out. It's just amazing to me. The medicinal mushrooms re re improve your immune response to candida, and that is big in cancer therapy. This is one of the most common, overwhelming infections a cancer patient can have is uh, to candida, okay? And other fungi, viruses, including herpes type 1 and 2, HIV, responds to some degree. It's not a cure of HIV, but it helps HIV patients. They do. Epstein-Barr virus and influenza. Here's a study on shiitake. Significantly inhibited 85% of the bacteria they tested against and 50% of the fungi tested. And the authors of the study said shiitake is roughly equivalent to Cipro in efficacy. Now, here's another point I'd like to make. The dose of ciprofloxin is 250 500 or 750 twice a day, okay? If I were to take 50 milligrams of Cipro once a day, it's not gonna work. I think that's obvious. Everybody would realize that that's not gonna work. Well, medicinal mushrooms have a therapeutic limit too. You have to take enough of them to actually be productive. And that amount is a minimum of 500 milligrams a day. That's the bare minimum, okay? We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, HIV patients on my Itaki report increased well-being and significantly lower rates of secondary infections. If it, it can do that for the HIV patient, it can help you with your recurring colds or your recurring bladder infections that keep you on antibiotics half the time. You know, I know there are those of you out there with that type of problem. The International Journal of Medicinal Mushrooms in a double-blind placebo-controlled study Shiitake increases circulating B cells in the elderly. Now, what, is, what does that mean? B cells make antibodies. You know what antibodies do? They help to trap bacteria and viruses, and it, it tags the bacteria or virus, and that is a sign to the immune system to destroy whatever's been tagged. So B cells make antibodies. Shiitake mushroom helps you make more antibodies. They become also these B cells antigen presenting cells. That's what I just described. It tells the immune system to destroy. And here's the new development in this line of thinking. These B cells are known now to develop into memory cells. This helps with long-term immunity to that germ. Have you ever caught a cold or something like that? You get over it and you catch the same germ over again? Your memory, your lasting immunity wasn't what it could be. They've been able to show now that shiitake actually helps you develop long-term immunity to these germs. What about the folks who have one bladder or kidney infection after another, strep throat, one after another after another, you know? This is how you use these natural agents to help you build up that in immunity. 
They do this, but they do not overcompensate and drive you into an autoimmune state where everything is attacked. This is one of our most common misconceptions about our natural agents in the medicinal mushrooms. They are incapable of doing that. All right? They reduce autoimmune related reactions and inflammation. See, remember, remember the tachometer. If you're going too fast, it'll slow it down. If you're going too slow, it'll speed it up, but you won't go too far. That's the beauty of these things. Reduces allergic response and inflammatory asthma. Rishi calms inflammation by at least 15 different pathways. So imagine 15 tachometers. Every one is modulated. I th that is just amazing. Think of the potential. Rishi calms the inflammation of asthma about equal to cortisone, a steroid. It's that powerful, but without the oversuppression without the diabetes as a complication of cortisone. If that is not a gift, I don't know what is, folks. That's amazing. When we return, we'll talk about cardiovascular benefits. Time is here again with our annual Cancer Free Celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioInnovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. How often do you go into the grocery store to buy just a bag of chips or candy bar? I suspect not very often. Then how is it that these foods make it into our grocery bags and pantries? Do you make impulse choices and buy junk food? To control that impulse, plan your next trip to the store. Write down at least three days of menus and build a grocery list with the ingredients needed to prepare the meals. Eat a healthy snack before going to the store. If you are hungry, you're less likely to stick to the grocery list. Shop the perimeter of the store, starting with fruits and vegetables. Have you ever noticed the most healthy foods are in the outer aisles? And avoid items displayed at the checkout counter, trying to entice you to make a last minute purchase. Follow these tips and make a plan so your next trip gives you control and you come home with bags full of healthy food. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone, and I just want to remind you, it is May again. Can you believe it? Another year has gone by. It's May Saving Celebration at BioNovations, and what a celebration we're having. So make sure you get your orders in so you can get them. I want you to be able to take advantage of these mushrooms. They're just fantastic. Best prices of the entire year year and free shipping on orders over fifty dollars in the mainland usa so good time to order those extra things that you want yeah. now richard the mushrooms are amazing they are we've covered some health benefits <clears throat> cardiovascular health i'm yeah. telling you the more i learn about it 
it just affects well, more and more people. And look at the studies now on women and postmenopausal heart disease. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, it is our, still our number men's. one killer. It, it is. It, it's still our number one killer. Cardiovascular health benefits of the medicinal mushrooms, they are impressive. The medicinal mushrooms' ability to balance body systems provides powerful cardiovascular disease support. They lower blood pressure, okay? They lower cholesterol. They lower triglycerides. I, you know, that's one of our most common questions we get on this program at, and at BioInnovations is, what can I do to lower my triglycerides? There's a lot more attention being applied to uh, the triglycerides. We're understanding the cardiovascular disease, stroke risk, and what all it can do. Well, the medicinal mushrooms drop that. Personally, in my history, the medicinal mushrooms lowered my cholesterol from 280 down to 180. Okay? That's a dramatic drop. I was very thrilled to see that. Now, I did other things. I took soluble fiber, I exercised, but we should all do a complete holistic program. Now, whether yours will drop 100, I don't know, but the studies tell us they will drop, usually about 25, 30%, okay? They also, besides lowering our lipids, they inhibit platelet aggregation. This means the propensity to clot, bad clots, pathological clots, emboli, thrombi, they are decreased with um, medicinal mushroom use. They calm vascular inflammation, they improve cardiac rhythm, improve diastolic and uh, dysfunction of the heart. This is heart failure. You know, the heart has to pump blood out, but also has to siphon or pull blood back. And in heart failure, it's the pulling back that is compromised first. It takes more energy to pull back than to pump out, okay? And so this helps to uh, prevent the diastolic dysfunction and heart failure. European Journal report, Rishi helps prevent diastolic dysfunction after a heart attack. You know, imagine combining that with CoQ10, carnitine, a little magnesium, D-ribose, you know, this type of thing, a little garlic. And, and you know, you're gonna get some tremendous healing power. Improve that life force, that's what this is all about. The Asian Journal of Andrology, double-blind, placebo-controlled, Rishi improves international prostate symptom scores in men with enlarged prostate. Now, I don't know what that has to do with cardiovascular health, but that's where that got. I put that in there because it's a new double-blind study, and I wanted to put them together. Journal of Medicinal Foods, double-blind, placebo-controlled, Rishi improves neurasthenia. This is one of the... Uh, great plagues of aging is this weakness, neurasthenia. It's kind of an old term. It's that weakness that, oh, I just want to sit in the chair and just watch daytime TV all day. How many of you have that problem? You just don't have the strength and energy to get going, you know? Add a little CoQ10 to your Rishi. Uh, start exercising a little more. Things will get better. That fatigue will improve. Uh, British Journal of Nutrition, double-blind, placebo-controlled, Rishi improves antioxidant status while it lowers those lipids. So we're getting more and more double-blind, placebo-controlled studies, gold standard studies, good evidence, proof, okay? How about diabetes and liver disease, liver health? Multiple studies now confirm that the medicinal mushrooms improve the measures of glucose control in diabetes. I'm talking about lower fasting blood glucose levels, lower postprandial blood glucose levels. In other words, after you eat a meal, how high does your blood glucose go? It will go lower if you take the medicinal mushrooms. Your long-term blood glucose, hemoglobin A1C, it's a three months, two, three months average of your glucose levels. They drop with medicinal mushroom therapies. Cholesterol levels drop, triglyceride levels drop. Plus, they help to protect the liver from fatty infiltration of the liver. You know, if we allow this fatty infiltration of the liver that obesity and diabetes causes, it can go on in a minority, not the majority, but in a minority, on to full-blown cirrhosis. From the point you are diagnosed with cirrhosis, you can expect to live on average seven years, and that's it. Unless you get a liver transplant, this is a serious disease. If you've been told you have fatty liver, end it there. Don't let it progress. Lose a little weight. Exercise. Get off the high fructose corn syrup and other sources of added sugar, and get on some medicinal mushrooms. Milk thistle. Protect that liver. You can't live without the liver. It is the organ that gives us that sense of vitality. It is truly connected to our sense of well-being. The medicinal mushrooms improve the diabetic's immune response while acting as a natural antibiotic and antifungal, okay? How many of you, how many of you diabetics have skin infections? 
bladder infections, wound infections, they won't heal, you catch every cold that comes to town, you can make a difference with these substances. Uh, <clears throat> double blind study of type 2 diabetics on ABM, improvement in insulin resistance, okay? That means it takes less medicine to keep your blood sugar where it should be. The Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, Mayataki, may improve fertility in PCOS. This is an obesity related problem, polycystic ovarian syndrome, Stein Leventhal. Patient, uh, excuse me, stands uh, as in either standalone product or combined with common fertility medicines. Mayataki improves the ability of PCOS patients to conceive. Okay, which is usually what drives them to the either that or their loss of periods. It uh, drives them to the doctor for evaluation. To the Mayataki PCOS patients, add vitamin D. Vitamin D is big in this regard. Some inositol, perhaps some progesterone cream, exercise. Treat yourself as though you're a diabetic. Technically, you're not, but it's a similar insulin resistance problem, and fertility will come for most who follow a program like that. Um, digestive disorders, reduces colon inflammation, inflammatory bowel disease, equal to drug treatment with sulfazalazine or cortisone. If you are an inflammatory bowel disease patient, you know what those substances are. Now you have a natural agent that can replace those fewer side effects with equal efficacy. ABM also contains digestive enzymes, trypsin, protease, helpful in digestive disorders. That's the summary of the first four medicinal mushrooms. When we return, we want to talk about Cordyceps sinensis. This agent is so powerful, it can stand alone. Let's learn about Cordyceps when we return. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. In the epic movie Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara says she won't think about her problems today or she'll go crazy. She'll think about them tomorrow. How should we think about tomorrow in our lives? In Matthew 6 verse 33, we get advice about tomorrow. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. It's so difficult to not worry about the future. Many of us catastrophize about the future. That's spending all your time thinking about all the catastrophes that might happen. So let tomorrow worry about itself. That way we won't miss the wonderful things happening in our lives right now. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Time is here again with our annual Cancer Free Celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. 
Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. Today is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Just a reminder, it's May saving celebrations at BioInnovation, so don't miss it. And remember, free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA, but good time to get the order that you need, all those products, the mushrooms, and now the cordyceps. Wait till you hear about this one. Richard, this yeah. one, every it seems like I always have my new favorite, yeah. but cordyceps is definitely one of my favorite supplements it's an of amazing all time. substance it's amazing yes we refer to it as cordyceps sinensis there is a new designation ophio cordyceps sinensis either one is the same substance this stuff is truly rare it only grows above 10,000 feet from the range of about 10,000 to 16,000 feet in the Himalaya ranges okay a spore from the mycelia uh, lands on a caterpillar head and out from the head of the caterpillar grows the fruiting body or the mushroom cordyceps sinensis now rest assured modern cultivation of cordyceps does not require a caterpillar you will not be ingesting any caterpillar pillar parts if you take cordyceps okay the fruiting body emerges like a blade of grass and the history of this stuff goes back to tibetan yak herders they would follow the grass line up elevation as spring presents and when they get to the higher elevations the yak would feed exclusively on cordyceps and after that the uh, rut would commence okay now these yak herders saw this energy this burst of energy to commence the rut and they were compelled to try cordyceps and that's how it started the chinese emperors of the region back in the olden times restricted cordyceps used to only the royal palace much like the some of the others we've talked about today modern production of cordyceps sinensis does not rely on the caterpillar you're safe there dr halperin our resident expert on mycology and mushrooms cordyceps is one of the safest medicinal foods this is what he writes it is a complex organism with a diverse chemical constituency that is difficult to replicate in the lab okay cancer use of cordyceps it also provides cancer protection while lowering cancer treatment side effects very similar to the other medicinal mushrooms immunity cordyceps modulates the immune system but it has some unique cardiovascular benefits i'd like to spend more time on cholesterol it shares the lipid lowering abilities one study showed three grams a day of cordyceps lowers total cholesterol about 21 percent that's pretty good no inhibition of coq10 here like statin drugs Arrhythmias, this is really interesting. If you have a heart rhythm irregularity, pay attention. Cordycep has rare and unique antiarrhythmia properties. Subjects with ventricular arrhythmias, these are arrhythmias arising in the lower half of the heart, okay? Subjects with ventricular arrhythmias, 1,500 milligrams of cordycep sinensis, 80% of them improved, 83% with supra ventricular arrhythmias, arrhythmias arising from the top half of the heart, taking three grams, 83% improved, taking three grams for three months showed partial or complete recovery. More than half of those tested arrhythmias disappeared in less than three weeks. Could you imagine the joy of having that arrhythmia go away? It's possible. It's possible with cordyceps. European Journal of Pharmacology, cordyceps antioxidant activity decreases stroke damage in lab animals by countering excitotoxins. This is one of Dr. Blaylock's favorite subjects to talk about is excitotoxins, how they can damage the brain. Cordyceps can counter that, okay? Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, double-blind placebo-controlled trial, cordyceps improves exercise performance in seniors. Isn't that amazing? Now we're back to that neurasthenia concept, that profound fatigue that may accompany aging and health conditions. What about diabetes? Shares the propensity to improve glucose control by enhancing insulin sensitivity. Here's a study I found. 19 of 20 diabetics, type 2 diabetics in this study showed improved glycemic control within 30 days, while 8 of 19 no longer had proteinuria. You know, your doctor checks your urine to see how much 
protein is spilling. It's a sign of diabetes damage to the kidneys. In this study, cordyceps reversed proteinuria back to normal. That's amazing. We have blood pressure agents that can help preserve the kidney function, but none of them reverse it. I find this absolutely amazing. This is one of the favorite natural remedies of Dr. Rich Schneider, nephrologist who's been on our program. He loves this stuff for his kidney disease patients. Energy, what will cordyceps do for your energy? This is what made cordyceps famous, is the energy it provides you. Multiple studies show cordyceps increases the liver's ability to make ATP. ATP is what gives your cells energy. It's what gives your heart the energy to, to, to beat and drive you up that mountain if that's what you want to do. Now, if your liver's making plenty of ATP, see, cordyceps isn't going to make it make too much. You know, that would lead to side effects. So we dismiss those notions. We're, we're staying in our normal range of RPMs, as it were. Fatigue, 30 healthy seniors, cordyceps provided improved oxygen utilization, and this means better exercise tolerance for seniors. It's just a little bump to help you get up and get going. If you have emphysema, add your antioxidants to the cordyceps. Add a little CoQ10, a little carnitine, magnesium, D-ribose, alpha-lipoic acid to improve the energy flow to your heart and other organs. Liver and the kidney. Improves liver production of ATP, helps prevent chronic liver inflammation from hepatitis. 60% in one study who all had hepatitis showed improved immune response when they took the cordyceps. 70% showed improved liver enzyme levels. Applicable to hep C, hepatitis B, any chronic form of hepatitis. Here's another study, 22 patients with cirrhosis. Those who took six to nine grams a day of cordyceps all improved with 68% showing no sign of cirrhosis on follow-up biopsies. No sign of cirrhosis. That's hard to believe. Acute renal failure. Genomycin induced acute renal, acute renal failure. Those who took the, the cordyceps, 89% showed complete recovery. Those who took the placebo, only 45%. This is just amazing. Let's go to our break. We have just a few things to finish up when we return. Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. 
These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Remember, it is savings time at BioInnovations, and this May, what a celebration we're having. And remember, free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA, so make sure you get your order in quickly. Well, Richard, time is short, but the cordyceps are just so amazing. You had a little bit more on renal failure. Yes, we talked about how uh, cordyceps helps you to recover from acute renal failure better, but it can also help those in chronic renal failure. In one study, five uh, grams a day, chronic renal failure, all in the study showed improved red blood cell counts and hemoglobin levels. The anemia of chronic uh, kidney failure improves. 39% improved creatinine clearance test was the average. 39% improved, 34% drop in blood urea nitrogen, BUN, and a 63% drop in proteinuria all showed improved superoxide dismutase levels. Now, what Dr. Rich Schneider recommends, if you want to use cordyceps sinensis for chronic or acute renal failure, you start with antioxidants, like a little vitamin C, a little grapeseed extract, resveratrol, a little curcumin. Do that for a week or two to relieve the uh, uh, free radical stress of the kidney and then start the cordyceps because what happens is the arteries open up in the kidney. It reperfuses the kidney and if you have a high oxidation uh, free radical stress there, that can do damage. So counter that first with antioxidants and then start the cordyceps. Kidney transplant, anti-rejection drug, cyclosporin causes kidney damage by constricting the blood vessels to the kidney. And this study showed that if you take cordyceps Even if you took a kidney transplant, a liver transplant, a lung transplant, it helps to counter the side effects of the anti-rejection drugs. I wish I had more time to explain all this, but this is amazing. And most doctors would say, oh, don't take medicinal mushrooms because it'll make you reject your organs. That's a complete misunderstanding of how these agents work. Remember the modulation. It stays within your normal RPMs. So... They were able to show in a follow-up study with Urology International, that journal, cordyceps protect kidney function for those with solid tissue transplants. Heart, kidney, liver, lung. Boy, if I had one of these situations, I would absolutely do it. Don't forget about bronchiectasis. I wish I had the time, but cordyceps helps bronchiectasis. Isn't this amazing? Well, folks, mushrooms are complex living things wide variety of health benefits. The side effects are usually a result of what we wanted to do. For example, if our blood glucose drops while we're on a medicinal mushroom and you're diabetic, that's what we want to happen, right? So you may need less medicine to lower your blood glucose level. Does that make sense? That should be clear for everybody. So if you are on warfarin, Coumadin or Plavix, please consult with your doctor before you start any additional supplemental program to assist in your health. But there are ways to accommodate them and incorporate them with blood testing to adjust doses of medicine so everything is fine. Well, Cindy, this stuff is amazing. Mm -hmm. It needs more press than we can give it. That's right. And it could start with improvements in your health. Well, it's been very informative today. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow right here at Your Health. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Did you know lifestyle diseases are a $2 trillion economic burden annually? Benjamin Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Don't wait for a diagnosis, disease, or other ailment to surprise you. Eat an apple, take a walk, give a hug. Take positive preventive steps towards a healthier lifestyle, and you'll experience vitality every day. It's not crazy, just healthy. Hi, my name's Charlie. Have you ever tried to watch your favorite CTN show? Only to find out you already missed it. 
Well, I've got good news for you. You can catch all your favorite shows on YouTube. And just by a few clicks. So, what are you waiting for? Go to YouTube CTN Online. Hey, when do I get my snack? That's more like.